How to Install a Window Screen, brought to you by Nose Prints and More, a division of Cranberry Custom Lettering. Things to remember, watch this video through at least once. The temperature must be above 50 degrees and the window must be clean and dry. Step 1. Gather materials. You will need paper towels and window cleaner, alcohol, painting or masking tape, razor blade, utility knife, squeegee, and rulers. Step 2. Cleaning the window. If your car is very dirty, please run through a car wash first. Select the no wax option. Once home, spray thoroughly with window cleaner and wipe with a paper towel. Repeat as necessary until no dirt is visible on the towel. Make sure to clean the edges and any obstructions thoroughly. For stubborn dirt, please use a razor blade and scrape to remove. It is important that no dirt is visible on your shield or your window screen will not stick. As a final step in your cleaning, use your alcohol to do a final rinse on the window. Make sure to clean your edges and any obstructions. This will ensure that your screen adheres completely to the window. Step 3. Center in window. Using a helper, unroll your screen and center it on your window. Make sure to leave a one inch overlay all the way around the window. Be sure to check around each edge to make sure you have a minimum one inch overlay on all sides. Step 4. Tape. Once centered, use masking tape to secure the screen to the window. Place tape in the center of the screen from the top of the vehicle to the bottom. Secure the tape to the vehicle and the screen. Place additional tape on the right and left side of the vehicle, making sure the screen doesn't move. Step 5. Fold screen and remove backing. Remove the tape from one side of the screen, leaving the center tape. Gently fold the screen in half and peel the backing paper away from the folded section. To remove the backing, start in one corner of your screen, separate and peel gently away. If you have a rear window wiper, please refer to the end of this video on how to work around your wiper. Step 6. Cut backing. Using your scissors or razor blade, cut the backing from this half of the screen. Be careful not to cut into the screen itself. Step 7. Applying your screen. Once the backing is removed from the first half of the screen, have your assistant gently stretch the screen over the window, holding it about one inch from the window surface. Using your squeegee, work from the center out using even strokes. Once the screen has been partially adhered, you may remove the center tape. Work from the center out, leaving the edges 
unadhered. The screen remains pliable, so should you have any wrinkles or bubbles, you can gently remove the screen and reapply. Again, work slowly and evenly from the center out. If small bu bubbles occur, you may also smooth gently with your finger. Step 8. Remove remaining tape and apply. Remove the remaining tape from your window screen. Gently fold back in half. Peel back your backing and begin your application. Step 9. Applying the second side. Gently remove your backing from the second side. Stretch over the window and hold about one inch over the window surface. From the center out, use your squeegee in even strokes to smooth the screen onto the window. Again, the screen will remain pliable for you to pull back and gently remove any wrinkles or bubbles that may occur. Work from the center out towards the edges using even short strokes. Be sure to press the screen all the way to the edges of the window and check carefully for any bubbles or wrinkles. Step 10, tuck and trim. Now you're ready to do the edges and trim work on your window screen. Tuck around any obstructions in your window, such as wipers or taillights. Trim using your razor blade or X-Acto knife. Using the end of your squeegee to tuck in around the edges as you go. It's important to trim a small amount in the center of the obstruction and then trim any excess to ensure a smooth fit. It helps if you tilt your blade on an angle as you're cutting. Use the squeegee to continue to tuck around the edges to ensure smooth adhesion. Once cut, use your squeegee to smooth the edges. Step 11, trimming the edges. You're now ready for the final step in your installation. Smooth the screen along the bottom edge and cut with your utility knife, razor blade, or X-Acto knife. Peel the excess away. Next, move down to the side, gently pulling the screen away from the edge of the window. It helps to slant your utility knife or blade along the edge of the window. Work in one long continuous motion if possible. When done, trim any excess along the edge of the window. When working on the edges, use your squeegee to ensure a smooth adherence all the way to the edge of the glass.
When moving to the top of the window, work in small sections around any obstructions, such as the rear taillight. As you cut each section, be sure to peel away the excess screen and then use your squeegee to smooth to the edge of the glass. The screen remains pliable so you can bend it into the corners to ensure a smooth cut. Change blades in your X-Acto or utility knife or your razor blade and go around the edges of the window trimming any small pieces of excess that may occur. Care of your window screen. To prevent the edges from curling, brush ice, snow, and wash from the center to the edges only. From all of us at Nose Prints and More and Cranberry Custom Lettering, we hope you enjoy your new window screen. Please visit us online for all of your custom printing needs. If you have a rear window wiper, please continue watching. Center and tape your screen loosely over your back window and install the first section as previously shown. On the second side, peel your backing paper away and have your assistant hold your screen loosely over your wiper. Work from the side secured towards the wiper pressing slowly as you go. Stop when you get Wait to the minute. wiper blade. More from the other side. That's just tell me when I'm getting close to that one. Once you've reached the wiper blade, continue installing all around the obstruction, working from the top and along the wiper blade. Work carefully and slowly so as not to tear your screen. Continue smoothing down your screen until you reach the wiper blade. Use your finger to smooth out any wrinkles. Be careful not to tear the screen on the blade. You're now ready to begin the trimming process. So I want to make sure, okay. Find the center okay, of your wiper you you yep. and using your exacto okay. or utility knife, I make an incision from the, from the center of your wiper blade assembly straight through your screen toward the bottom. This small slit will allow you to bend your screen completely around your wiper blade assembly. It's not matte finish because there's Use your squeegee to adhere the screen and lift around the assembly. To keep going. Using your squeegee, continue to smooth the around the window. assembly, yeah. working your way over the assembly and towards the side. Use your finger to smooth any wrinkles. Continue working over the wiper blade assembly and to the side, adhering your screen completely from left to right and from the top of the wiper assembly to the top of your windshield. Do not go all the way to the bottom or work under the blade assembly at this, this time. Next, gently lift your wiper <laughs> and push the screen between the wiper and the window. Gently smooth using your squeegee. You now should have your screen adhere to the window except for a small section directly under the wiper assembly. Your screen should be adhered to the window except the small section around the wiper blade assembly and immediately beneath it. Make small cuts along the top and sides of your assembly until your seam beneath your assembly can meet. And then I'm going to slice here. 
make tiny incisions near the center of the assembly that allow your screen to meet beneath. Smooth the edges down. You're now ready to trim around the assembly. It's important to make small cuts around the assembly and work out. Better to cut too little than too much. Using a, a technique of trimming and tucking, continue to cut small pieces away until you've reached the edge of your wiper blade assembly. Cut and peel small sections away, smoothing down each edge as you go. As you get close to the very edge, tuck in with your squeegee and cut with your X-Acto or your utility knife. If your wiper has a rubber seal, gently lift with your squeegee and tuck underneath. You've now successfully cut around your window wiper assembly. Congratulations, your rear window screen is now installed. Thank you again for your purchase from Cranberry Custom Lettering and Nose Prints and More. Please visit us online at noseprintsandmore.com today.